This is StormTrack 12. It was a rainy and windy start to the week today, and that's all because of this strong area of low pressure. Here's a look at it on satellite and radar right now. Off to the west, it's actually producing some snowfall, and off to our southeast in portions of New Jersey and in and around New York City, actually seeing some severe thunderstorms today. And while we didn't see either of that, we did deal with some pretty steady and heavy rainfall and some gusty winds throughout much of today. But the bulk of that rainfall has moved well off to the east, and now we'll just see the chance for a few scattered showers throughout the rest of the night tonight. But taking a look outside, temperatures really on the mild side for this time of year. In Binghamton, we're at 52 degrees with winds from the south southeast at three miles per hour. And temperatures across the area in the 50s and a few spots dropping down into the 40s. Stanford at 55 degrees, Oneonta at 54, Green is at 52 degrees, Norwich still at 57, and Ithaca, one of the only spots into the 40s at this hour at 42 degrees. So for tonight, we do keep that scattered shower chance with us, but rain really starts to taper off as we head into the overnight. Then we'll see a few rain and snow showers for Tuesday and another round of lake effect snow showers for Wednesday. But temperatures throughout this week stay pretty seasonable, right around 40 degrees. But here's a look at future track throughout tonight. Over the next couple hours, keeping those scattered showers with us, we continue to see mostly cloudy skies and a few isolated showers as we head into late tonight into early tomorrow morning, then tomorrow morning into the afternoon, right around 11 or 12 o'clock, seeing a few scattered showers and mostly cloudy skies. But then as temperatures start to drop as we head into, into tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night, those rain showers start to change over to a mix of rain and snow. And then our best chance for seeing some snow showers comes Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning, seeing those lake effect snow showers starting the day by 8 or 9 o'clock, few scattered snow showers, and we keep that chance with us really throughout much of the day, but that does start to taper off as we head into Wednesday evening. But in terms of accumulations, really not thinking too much at all. Valleys and most of us see just a quick coating, but as per usual, higher elevations have the best chance at seeing some accumulating snowfall right around an inch to an inch and a half. But here's a look at temperatures. By 8 o'clock, we'll still be near 50 degrees. Then lows for tonight will be in the upper 30s and low 40s. Highs for tomorrow only top out right around 40 degrees. Then for tomorrow evening by 6 o'clock, we're already into the 30s and lows for tomorrow night will be into the 20s and low 30s. But for tonight, we're looking at a low temperature of 38 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and those showers coming to an end. Range of temperatures 35 to 41 degrees. But here's a look at the rest of your seven day forecast. For tomorrow, we have that chance some scattered showers, but Wednesday, We'll see some of those lake effect snow showers and highs only in the 30s. Best chance of seeing some sun this week comes on Thursday. Temperatures stay near 40 through Saturday, and then we'll see a chance of some showers for both Saturday and Sunday. But by Monday, we're looking at highs into the 30s.